What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to play Today Was A Fairy Tale uh, by Taylor Swift from her new album Fearless. By the way guys, I'm trying to cover her full album as fast as possible. Make sure you specify which songs you want the most down in the comments. This is again an in-depth guitar tutorial. I'm gonna show you each and everything Taylor actually does in his song. So we got no capo, it's then a chant tuning. We just need four chord shapes and the whole song is done. The first chord will be a G major, which is three, two, open, open, three, three. So for the G major, we're actually playing the third frets on the high E and B string two, which is not there in the chord chart. Then we have a C major, but this is a variation of a C major chord, which is a C R9. Uh, we hold the G major chord, but we just bring these two fingers down. as the C R9. So mute, three, two, open, three, three. Then we have a E minor, which is just a normal E minor, zero, two, two, zero, zero, zero. And lastly, a D, which is mute, mute, open, second, third, second. Now, let me break down the whole thing. By the way, if you just want to avoid that small bass stop, which actually goes on. You can just avoid that, but I'm going to combine everything and show you what actually goes in the song. So, let's get started with the G major chord. We're going to go for down, up, up. Like this. One more time. Practice. For the last time. Down, up, up. And as soon as you do that, you're gonna do you're gonna do a hammer on from open to second on the A string, and then an up stroke hitting the third fret on the A string. Uh, the up stroke is option, but make sure to hit the third fret on the A string. So you got down, up, up, right? And now we are in the C add nine chord shape. So we went to a G, and now we are in the C add nine. So we got down, up, up, da, da, da. now C add nine, and now we're gonna go for a up. Up, down, 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 up. One more time. Up, up, down, 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 up. From the beginning. One more time. Up, up, down, 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 up. One more time. Up, up, down, 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 up. So I hope things are clear right now. And now we're gonna do. So now we're doing a walking bass back. We're going back, so we are playing three on the A, second on the A, open on the A, third fret on the E, and then we hold the E minor chord and go for a down up up. And now we move on to a D major chord and finish up doing down up up down 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 up. How much time? Down up up down 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 up. So the whole thing, which actually just goes on and on and on and on throughout the whole song, sounds like this. Sorry, from the beginning, one, two, three, four. Oops, I played an E minor 7 chord. Don't do that. Play an E minor. By mistake, I played an E minor 7. Normal E minor chord. From the beginning, one more time. Again, I played the E minor 7 chord, that's getting a habit. Never mind, uh, quite clear, that's it. And now let's have a look at the chorus, they're gonna come to that part. So we are playing a C major chord, then an E minor, then a D. And now we are into actually the chorus. For the chorus, that part where it just goes a little bit higher, we're gonna play a C major, another C major, then an E minor, then a D. Strength panel will be a down, down, up, up, down, also each chord, C major. Down, down, up, up, down, E minor. Up, up, down, D. Now let's have a look at a small riff. You guys might be interested in learning that a lot. So we start like this: three, two on the high E string, and three on the B, and first three on the B string. Then we're gonna play three on the high E, second on the high E, three on the B, then second three on the G string. So we got. Next 
next time repeat that three two on high e three on b one on b and now we're gonna play three on high e second on high e sorry so i'm doing a slide from five to seven and back to five so oops got on this smooth and then we have And then we are do a slide from 7 to 8 on the high E string. I'm sorry, 7 to 10 on the high E string and they're gonna be a little bit slow. Like this, so you got. That's it. Now that's for the whole song guys. I hope this video helps you out. Make sure you drop a comment down below about the lesson or in this song you just want to learn with Taylor. That's it. I'll see you guys back in the next video. Till then, bye.